y'all welcome back to my channel what did you get on here today with june favorites and this is going to be everything makeup skincare and lifestyle and i'm just going to jump right into this and i'm going to start with a couple of fails my first one is a really big fat fail and that is the andalou avo coco skin food mask i did not care for anything about this mask i didn't like the smell of it it smells like the name coco it smells like cacao kind of that bitter chocolate no, it's very strong, but what I really didn't like is how this applied and how it comes off. It goes on really patchy, so I didn't feel like I could get a good smooth layer of it. And then I couldn't feel it doing anything, and then when I took it off, it's really thick and kind of gummy, and then dries down to kind of a dry gummy feel. And so I didn't want to rinse it off because it feels too sticky. So I wiped it off. It just makes a mess. Couldn't tell that this really did anything. If you like this and feel like it does something and I put it on wrong, let me know that. I'll hang on to this until I hear from y'all. And then the other thing is a cleansing oil. I thought I was buying the Burt Bees. This is by Eta Organics. Lavender Vanilla Cleansing Oil. This smells beautiful. But it just does not get my makeup off, which I was shocked by because it's an oil. Did not get my makeup off. I really had to work at this. I was sad because this smells so good. It did not remove my makeup. Those were my fails, and I'm going to jump right into my favorites. And I'll start with a couple of brow definers. I use these on my eyelid to lighten my inner corner and make more of an eyelid. And I really liked these. I bought it because I could get it in this pink. This color is called Matte Light Pink, and I loved the idea of a real light pink. I really love this. It's nice and creamy and soft, and then I go over it with a lighter eyeshadow. I got it in the light pink, and then I also got it in Matte Ivory, just an ivory color, kind of like my L'Oreal Concealer Stick, True Match Concealer. I really um, enjoyed those. Next, a couple of blushes. The first one is this Milani Coralina. When I use a bronzer all over my face, I like something kind of bright so you can see the blush after the bronzer's on. And this is a vibrant red, so it does not take much, but it also doesn't go on that scary. I just get a fluffier brush, my Real Techniques blush brush, and just real soft real soft and then tap it off and then right on the tops of my cheeks for just a little pop of color this is beautiful like a little little bit of a sunburned look but you can blend it out for every day it is so nice then I'm also loving a Burt's Bees in shy pink heard about this from Dawn's Life Over 40 this is just a classic rosy color and it's beautiful it is perfect for every day. I will tell y'all, I got this at the same time I got a Marc Jacobs. It was a perfect dupe of it. I sent the Marc Jacobs back. This was just as pretty. I used the Marc Jacobs on one side, this on the other. And I was like, I'm not paying $40 or $45 for a blush that looks just like this. I kept the Burt's Bees and I love that. Okay, then I also picked up this Dior. This is in rosy glow okay i'm going to show this to you and it looks like a very vibrant baby pink with maybe a little bit of lavender under it they say this is good for most skin tones when you put it on it is a vibrant baby pink and then as i wear it after a couple of hours it kind of earths itself up a little bit it's still vibrant but a little bit earthier i love that it is a beautiful pop of color again with those bronzers and you've already got color i like something a little vibrant next a couple of bronzers and one is warm and one is cool we'll start with the warm one that i have on today and that is the jouet in sunlight and sun tan and this is so easy to use and buildable doesn't go on too heavy all at once can build it up and get a very natural glow this one is a little bit on the warmer side. It's those two, a little bit of a sheen. Gives your skin just a little bit of a glow. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star. I had heard so much about this, I had to pick it up and try it. And I am not sorry I did. That's the bronzer. Just a little bit on the cooler side. 
and then the highlight. And I have that highlight on today. Just kind of melts in with the skin. It just looks like a natural glow. Okay, next, a couple of lip products. I picked up a MAC lip gloss. I love these, and I wanted to pick it up in Angel, and I think they discontinued that. So I picked it up in Juju, Good Juju, MAC Juju. This is just a very lifting peachy pink. I like to keep this in my car and just throw it on when I'm going in somewhere. That's it. Just a peachy pink, and um, yeah, I really love it. Okay, last month I had MAC Ripened in my favorites, and I do love that. It is just a really pretty lilac color, and one of you girls told me about a L'Oreal that is very close to it. I wanted to show y'all the Lilac Impulse, and I might like this one better. It's a little bit lighter, but gives you the same effect. That's them side by side. That's the MAC, and that is the L'Oreal in Lilac Impulse. So if you've been wanting to try the MAC Ripened, you might give the L'Oreal Lilac Impulse a try. Okay, next I picked up a Lancome color. This is in Beige Mirage. It is just a beautiful beige nude. It is perfect for every day. Hold on, I'll put a little of this on over what I already have on. Just a very comfortable daily nude, but very moisturizing. I love the Lancome lipstick formulation. Okay, next I picked up a Buxom gloss, and this one is another, it's a lavender, but it's pinker than it is lavender. This is in Lavender Cosmo, and I... <laughs> love this because it's a little bit pinker, but it has that lavender underneath that I love that kind of warms it up. Hold on, I'll put a little on over my Lancome. Oh, adds a little more pink to it. That is beautiful. I love the Spexum Gloss, and I love how cold these are in the summer. Okay, next, I picked up a couple of DMAE products. DMAE is supposed to be firming. There's some pretty good research behind it, and that's the ingredient, I think, in Dr. Brandt's neck lift. So I wanted to try some DMAE products and picked up the ones by Derma E. I picked up a toner I used this morning and night, and I picked up a firming DMAE serum. They're very nice, they feel great going on. The serum is very light, soaks right in. It's that. Yeah, it just feels a very, very light. And then the toner I put on with a cotton ball, or sometimes I'll use it like an essence and put it in my hand and then pat it all over my face. I really like both of those. Now, I don't know if these are working, but I do feel better when I wear them. I don't know if that's just psychological, probably <laughs> at this point, because I've been using them that long, but I do love them, and I love that the idea of using them. So I use them morning and night. Okay, next, the Andalou Fruit Enzyme Mask. Now, it feels a little bit like putting baby food on your face, but then when I get it on, I get a nice burning from it. Not, it doesn't hurt, but you can tell that it's active. And then when I rinse it off, my face is a little bit pink. So I can tell it's doing something. It's making it more active. So I really love that fruit in some mask. The first ingredient in that is aloe leaf juice. Then it's got fruit stem cells to suffer all, which I think is vitamin E. Sugar cane extract, manuka honey, white tea extract. It just has a lot of good stuff in it. So I love this and it felt nice and active. Okay, next, a couple of perfumes. And I wanna talk about this long because it was just in my summer favorites, but I wanna be sure you hear about it because I love it so much. And that's the Jo Malone Orange Blossom. It's like walking through a field of honeysuckle and then dries down to a soft citrusy orange. Very soft and feminine. It is beautiful. I love the initial when you spray it on and it smells like just thick honeysuckle and, and not overpowering. And then dries down to that soft orange. This is lovely. Okay, next, I picked up the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. It smells like a very spicy vanilla, kind of like if you remember 
the old Bob Mackie fragrance. That's kind of what it reminds me of. The notes are tobacco, vanilla, and tobacco leaves, and that's what it smells like. It smells like a warm vanilla spicy pipe, like my uncle used to smoke in the 70s. It is beautiful, and a lot of the Tom Ford fragrances are so expensive because you can only get the big ones. I was able to go to Sephora and get a smaller one. This was, I think, 55, so I really love that. Okay, next I have some lifestyle favorites, and the first one I heard about from Melissa55. It's called The Perfumed Court, and it's a website where you can go if you like a real expensive fragrance and you don't want to spring for the whole bottle. You can order it in tiny little sizes. I wanted to try a bunch of the Tom Fords. One of those was the Tobacco Vanilla, and I liked it enough to buy it because they had it in this $50 size. I also tried the Lost Cherry and loved it, but not enough for $300, so I'm going to ask for that for Christmas. And then there was another one called Soleil Blanc, and I love that one too. And I got these small sizes of all of these. If you don't know about the Perfumed Court, yeah, go over and give that a look. It is great. Okay, then also, recently in a grocery haul, I had these Super Collagen C pills. More often than not, this is what I'm doing for collagen. I love the powders and making those up in a little smoothie after the gym for a little treat. But when I'm in a hurry, just grabbing these collagen C pills is great. I can just take them with the rest of my supplements. It's fast. I'm getting my collagen. I love those. Okay, next, a book. It's called Someone Knows My Name. It's set, I believe, in the 1800s. And it's about a girl from Africa who is sold into slavery and is shipped over to America. And it's about her entire life, from childhood all the way through her elderly years, about everywhere she goes and her entire life. It felt like I was reading literature. It is amazing. The writing is excellent. The story is great. It held me the whole way through. I loved this book. Okay, and last, a couple of shows on Netflix. The first one is Yellowstone. It's got Kevin Costner in it, and it's about a ranch and landowner in Montana. Now, it is not a Hallmark story. It's not a Hallmark show that's warm and fuzzy. No, it's more like the Mafia meets Montana, but it's really good. It's in the second season. I've watched the first season of it, and it is excellent. My last show is probably my favorite of the year, and that is Dead to Me. This one stars Christina Applegate. Her husband has recently died in a hit and run, and she's determined to solve that crime. She also meets the major supporting character at a support group, and they're completely opposites, but they become really good friends. It is excellent. This one has kind of a quirky feel to it, kind of like Desperate Housewives. I loved that show. That's probably my favorite of the year. Okay, and that is all my favorites and fails for the month of June. Y'all let me know down below some things that y'all are enjoying so that we can pick them up and love them with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.